In 2017, after working 40 years in the fast food industry, Frederica Jones decided to fulfill a lifelong dream of opening her own bar in her hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. My dad was the inspiration for me to get into this because he had a, a liquor house that he had for like years and we all had to work there and we loved it. I did, I loved it. Believing that her decades of work in the fast food industry would propel her to success, Frederica used her life savings to open the bar. I had to invest my own money. I didn't have a rich relative. I couldn't get a business loan. Me personally, I think when I went to apply for loans, I've had some legal issues in the past and nobody said, oh, well, let me talk to her and find out what really happened. So, and I just they said no from the beginning. However, from the start, Sandtown Pub continuously struggled to succeed. The bar business is nothing like the fast food industry. You have that extra component when you're dealing with alcohol. Set your section up how you need it because that's one of the problems too. The bartender said everybody keeps coming behind the bar. Keeps coming behind the bar. Because I have no business credit or anything like that, I had to take $65,000 out of my 401k. But it wasn't just the lack of money or broken equipment that was holding the bar back. We're here at San Town is a little disorganized because it doesn't exactly have a structure. I'm like, dang, where, where the party at? You know, I'm trying to have a good time at the bar. <laughs> Literally, it should be a sign that says Miss Jones is not here. She's here in the morning time, but she kind of is a little she bit more hand off in the evening. With an untrained and undisciplined staff. Frederica turned to her daughter, Amber, to help manage the bar. Her role is she's owner. I fall right under her, so I guess not technically owner, but anything she knows, I know. But Amber's approach to management greatly differed from her mom's. I stay out of Amber way, Miss Jones' daughter way. I stay out her way, because I got a short few temper, because I don't want me and her to, you know what I'm saying, bump heads or anything. Daryl and Derek are definitely the problem children. They get away with more stuff. And that's why I be saying, you know, my mama, she babies them in a way. She has these people who she considers her kids, but you know, at the end of the day, these are not your real kids. These are the employees. You mean to tell me if they go jump off a bridge, you gonna jump off one too? And now the mother-daughter relationship has become strained. If she could just tone it down just a little bit, you know, be a little friendlier, be a little bit nicer to people, I think we'll be able to go a lot further. It's either yes or no. I need you to work on it. Yes, I work on it. Okay, thank you. I've literally been working with my mother since birth. It's always boss first, mother second. As a result, tensions at the bar have further caused business to decline. It kills me when you look up and, and look at me. Don't watch me. Watch the people walking in the door. Like, what are you watching me for? And now, Frederica is in debt over $200,000. If we don't turn this thing around within the next 60 to 90 days, we gonna have some problems. So before Frederica loses her retirement, her daughter and her dream, she has decided to pull back the doors, bust open the books and make a call for help to Bar Rescue. If Same Town Pub does not succeed, I lose a lot. I will feel like I disappoint so many people because I always try to tell people, you know, I'm a great example of you can make it. So if the bar has to close, I will be devastated. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.